Okay, this already looks like a bit of an exciting bottle, but it gets better. This is a wheat beer that's unfiltered and unpasteurized, and it's non-alcoholic. This is a first for me, and pretty much everyone I've spoken to hasn't heard about a beer like this before. So it's from Bavaria. They're known for good beer. Uh, this sounds like a good concept. Let's get into it. So on the packaging, it looks like something like a race car combined with a hipster, combined with going back in time. Uh, some nice writing. It's German English, so they're made to sell abroad. And then on top, it says yum. Let's hope it's not deceiving. Yeah, it's definitely got that very, very sweet uh, wheat smell. Maybe a little bit too sweet. Uh, it sort of gives me that uneasiness that it might be off. I hope it isn't. So let's find out. If you look at it on a sight scale though, this is pretty much everything you want in a wheat beer. Nice solid head, very cloudy. I mean, put my head behind it, you can't see me. Uh, it's got lowish carbonization, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's coming up there, but in just a small, smooth stream, so that looks promising as well. That head has just made this beer so smooth. Uh, I mean, it's got the carbonization there, but with that head, it just like, it's like some silencer for any like bubbles. It's just super smooth. A uh, little bit on the heavier side, but probably really a medium feel beer. It starts off sort of like a regularish wheat beer, strong wheat flavor, but the aftertaste on this has so much banana. It's probably the most banana I've ever tasted in a wheat beer. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty nice. So far I'm getting like a special sort of beer flavor rather than a regular drinker. I mentioned the banana flavor, which is almost off the charts in that aftertaste. To me, that makes it more of a beer that I would like to just show this to people, show the variety that can happen in the non-alcoholic scene. Uh, unfiltered, unpasteurized, huge banana kick on it. Uh, it's pretty crazy, actually. And in saying that, it's not the sort of beer that I would like go to every day or have like two of. I'd maybe have two, but I would not have more than three in a row, that's for sure. If I compare it to some like better known wheat beers, it hasn't got so much sweetness to it. It's a bit more subdued, so that's a plus for me, trying to cut down on some sugar. And that's what we're all about on Dry Dude. Finding new beers, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, and bringing it to you. Come on the journey, discover the non-alcoholic world, hit subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another beer review. Cheers.